This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee Rumor has it. on the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Yes, so Ellen DeGeneres really got people upset yesterday. She was talking about herself being at home quarantined with her wife and she's in her mansion in California. Her mansion is, by the way, $27 million and it sits on 8.24 acres of land. Mm -hmm. Here is what she said that had people upset. One thing that I've learned from being in quarantine is that people, uh, this, this is like being in jail is what it is. It's uh, mostly because I've been wearing the same clothes for 10 days and everyone in here is gay. Yeah, Ellen gonna have to come to the front of the congregation this morning because she has no idea what's happening in prisons all around the country. She has no idea what's happening in Rikers, what's happening in Elkton, Ohio, what's happening in Atlanta. Like all these prisoners that have phones, they're right. showing us some very disturbing images of, of, of how they're being treated during this global pandemic. So she needs to come to the front of the congregation. It's a good moment to teach. All right. Now, I want to congratulate Michael Arsenault. He's been on The Breakfast Club before, and he wrote the book, I Can't Date Jesus. And he has another book, which actually I'm in the middle of reading right now. It's a collection of his essays. And um, that book is I Don't Want to Die Poor. It's an essay collection where he talks about his struggles with private student loans and economic anxiety. So that book is out now also. But congratulations to Michael Arsenault because they are doing an adaptation of his I Can't Date Jesus book, Love, Sex, Family, Race, and Other Reasons I Put My Faith in Beyonce. And that is being done by Gerard Carmichael, Lee Daniels, and Mark Velez. So congratulations. They're saying that that is going to be a half hour series. Drop on the clues bombs from my guy, Michael Arsenault. Very, very talented brother. Very, very entertaining writer he is. Salute to Michael. He deserves that. All right. Now, Harvey Weinstein, there's going to be a new series that actually starts on Sunday on the ID Network, the Investigation Discovery Network. And that's basically a lot of women who will be sharing their stories of abuse because of him and the trauma that they had to go through. His former assistant will share her story. And she talks about the day of sentencing when he got 23 years, how vindicating that was for her because of all the lives that he destroyed. Uh, there's a lot of women who will be taking part in this series. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, nobody's done anything on Harvey Weinstein. But there's clearly a lot of things that are in the works and a lot of women coming forward to tell their stories. All right. Also, Nick Cannon's daytime talk show will be premiering in September. And a lot of people have picked up that talk show already. So you can look forward to seeing that on Fox, on CBS, Sinclair, Nexstar, Hearst, uh, a whole bunch of different networks. So congratulations to him. He's got yeah, the most jobs out of anybody. Mm -hmm. And Nick Cannon, yeah, drop on, a busy guy. Yeah, drop on the clues bombs for Nick Cannon. I, I hope that uh, these TV studios can get back to production soon. You know, I hope that you know, if it's, if it's a live show in September, I really do hope that uh, we're back up and running in September. Yeah. Yeah, I hope he's so. He's a too. busy guy. I mean, hosting The Masked Singer, hosting Wild and Out. He also has a radio morning show. So he's got a lot of things going on. So Nick Cannon works. And Nick he has a working. Dr. Sebi doc documentary coming out also, which he put out that trailer Nick, for that we played for you previously. Nick been working. That's why we don't understand why he has time to go to a recording studio. You know what I mean? That's the one thing that we wish he did not have time to do was go into studios and record raps. But other than that, Nick is always working and we appreciate That's it. That's for his mental health, man. He just loves to do that to get things off his chest. I don't for believe people, that. I believe they, he's trying to love, prove something to people. For some I don't people, believe that. I believe he loves, love doing something and they don't have to do it. It doesn't feel like work, right? No, I think he's trying to prove something to people. I think he really wants to be known as a good rapper. I think that's the one thing that bothers Nick Cannon. He just wants somebody to say he's dope on that microphone just one time. Just one all right, now Tyra Banks is doing her Harper's Bazaar Food Diaries YouTube series, and she talks about how she actually has gained some weight since she posed for the 2019 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit cover. Here's what she had to say. I have a very interesting relationship with food. I have to say that it is one of the most important things in my life. A lot of my personal life and the things that I like to do and my hobby is food, so much so that right now, I am 25 pounds heavier than I was on the cover of a very famous swimsuit magazine that came out last year. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going, uh, uh, gaining a lot of weight right now sitting at home too. So, you know, I mean, well, it's a good time to keep a food I, diary. Well, that's why I said yesterday, the, the, the best thing that you can do right now is watch what you're consuming. I mean, two reasons you should watch what you're consuming. Number one, because, you know, you don't want to get fat because sometimes right around the corner. And number two, you got to ration food at a time like this. You just do. Because you don't know when they might just tell everybody, look, we're closing everything down. You got to stay home for two right. weeks, including the grocery stores. So you should be rationing food at a time like this. Watch your portions. 
All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.